Welcome back, Rich Nation. My name is AJ, and today we are continuing One Piece episodes 389 and 390. This is technically future AJ here. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, hit that notification bell. You can also check out these episodes early and uncut over on patreon.com slash ajrich123. And let's go ahead and start. How do you even... <laughs> How do you get that face? Just born with it. His hate for Sanji is completely justified here. It's a horrifying reality. I can't help but feel bad for the enemy right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's just mad about the drawing. <laughs> I mean, it sucks for both of them, but Sanji earned the poster. This guy hadn't. <laughs> it doesn't really equal out. It doesn't. I love Sanji, but it doesn't equal. <laughs> I'm with Frankie here. I feel horrible for him. Who else feels bad, more bad for Duval instead of Sanji? Yeah, uh, I guess that I didn't really think about that. You could change your look a little bit. <laughs> Could have dyed your hair, grew out your hair or something, wore a hat. What the fuck? It's just his face that scared the civilians. You had to pull the typical kid with the ice cream cone that you made her drop. What the hell? <laughs> so he was like that typical anime gangster that usually gets like one punched by somebody in the show. <laughs> you were the town bully. <laughs> yeah, I think his reality is jaded. Oh, oh, wait a second. Did they write in milk on the, the, the left right there? It says milk bar. Is that written so it didn't look like there's like alcohol in this? Is that is that the reason why it was written like that? Because that's hilarious. I love these little like paper cutouts of them. <laughs> <laughs> Could this be counted as like the worst past story of this show? Cause this is pretty bad. <laughs> and that's what happens to the, you know, the smaller time gangsters or bullies or they don't want that much. They just want to be able to, <laughs> they just want to beat up the little guys. Okay. Now I don't feel as bad about it now. I, I've completely, okay. I've completely flipped on this. I don't feel bad. If he was like a good guy or something and living like a cool life, I would have cared. I, I would have cared, but <laughs> he's typical gangster number three. That That's him. I really do want to see him get his ass kicked now. <laughs> I, I feel bad that I felt bad. <laughs> Oh no, a fishnet. Can you kick through iron? Yeah, you're you're the last person that should be jumping in the water. <laughs> 
he really does have a punchable face are mermaids faster than fishmen or maybe some of them just have like are speedier oh, okay so the mermaids are like the fastest in the sea i guess doing all this did have purpose which she probably does a lot what the hell anchor carousel how many emergency weapons and like things can this ship do frankie must I, we already know he installed a ton of crap on this we've seen so far but i'm sure there's more some maybe quick flight or some type of or maybe some type of speed boost uh run like a chicken that's actually a perfect name for it <laughs> running at you know god damn frankie thought of everything he really did I just continue to be impressed by how much stuff he has on this. Huh. Holy crap. That's going to hit all of them in one hit. Holy shit. That's. Okay. Okay. What the fuck did Frankie put in this thing? That's a, you can destroy an entire base with that. Holy fuck. Okay, the ship's OP. One piece, OP. The ship is fucking OP. Holy hell. That is better than a cannon. You got a fucking special beam. <laughs> Luffy didn't know that you, the ship could do that. That is going to be extremely useful going forward here. Wow. <laughs> God damn, I love this ship. Oh, so it's more of a last resort emergency, just like he said, emergency. So they definitely <laughs> Saji finally gets some hits to the face. I wonder why it's a simp ultimate dream to be smothered in the boobs. And it's a mermaid, so it's a double win for him. What are you going to do? Take their wallet? Yeah, I had a feeling. <laughs> I had a feeling it was just size, not power. Exactly. He's scaring the shit out of him with his eyes. What did Luffy do? Was he just scared from, like, did he just intimidate him or did Luffy actually do something? That was odd. I don't know, the way, maybe it was just the way it was shown there. It was odd. I just think that these guys have no chance. Like, they're finally going up against a group that they're, like, completely, like, the other guys are just completely outmatched. This isn't even fair. <laughs> didn't he already say what you had to do Just change your look oh here comes the music <laughs> yeah that uh that face is not supposed to exist in real life i agree sanji he really is the schoolyard bully all bark no bite <laughs> uh yeah no like every time uh every time that theme comes on i always like 
I don't know what it is. It's just like, feels like the casino slash bar type theme. Just like, it always puts me in a good mood, but you already know Sanji's going to kick some ass or something when that starts playing. But, uh, uh, I, I, what's really funny was I can't believe I actually felt bad for him in the very beginning. Did anybody else have that initial thought where it was like, okay, can you really, I, I kind of feel more bad for this guy than Sanji because he had to deal with this, wasn't his fault. But then when it shows the cordiest backstory, like, <laughs> like, the, the, seriously, when it shows that he was just a stupid bully stealing wallets and like, and how he acts and ha it just now I, I instantly did not feel sorry for him. And I actually am mad I felt sorry for him at all. But uh, that was a great, great conclusion to that, though, because it's just, I, I, I don't know. I feel like Sanji, even if this doesn't clear up everything, because they still have that poster and they're still, you know, looking for him that way, regardless that that poster is supposed to, you know, it's not, doesn't look like him. It's still up there. So, yeah, you defeated the guy that looks like him, but... It's not really going to change anything, right? <laughs> Aw, how nice. They're, they're worried about him. Did you really want him there, though? I don't think so. Wait. Did you get... I don't think you can make that face any uglier, so... Did he lose some, like... Teeth or something? Well, they finally got their takoyaki. That they were wanting. And I feel like the reason why Luffy went there in the first place. Just to get that takoyaki. I know he just has food in his mouth, but that looked weird. <laughs> so he does have a use. Jesus. They're kind of doing Sanji's job here. Or does he just care about her opinion on there? Oh, <laughs> uh, well. Yeah, and their their past, you know, with who he worked for. Of course. <laughs> no, of course he's going to care about her opinion. But bygones be bygones. Here's some ter- Or I wanted to say teriyaki, but it's takoyaki. I will try this one day, I swear. <laughs> what, what? <laughs> what the, what the fuck? What, no, oh, no, that's not him! That's a, no! <laughs> Sanji knocked him, Sanji knight knocked the ugly out of him and made him pretty! What the fuck? He got the, he got like the fucking boy band face! That has got to be a first. You knocked you knocked somebody up so much that you made them good looking. What the? F oh, okay. I guess they can go the opposite way in this show too. You can you can make somebody look weird as hell looking, and then you can beat them up so much to make them good looking. Uh, hey, at least now he's not going to be looked at as you know like uh like that picture there you go that there there it is i don't know how the hell that's possible though they're not even caring oh he did it on purpose how the fuck did he do that he did it on purpose that is the best gift he could have ever gave him Does a bully that stole wallets really deserve that, though? Sanji gave him more than he deserved. Do you want... Oh, my... What the fuck? Uh, it looks like he's doing something else there, and I don't want to know what. That was not the right face. <laughs> do you really want this guy's help? Don't do it! Sanji will... Sanji will knock you back into non-handsome. He's just lived with the weirdest face ever for so long. Yay! 
the best thing you got out of this you got this guy's phone number congratulations this is so fucking ridiculous who knew that was gonna come out of this and you got friendship the guy probably can't cook anymore well they did go to save him so he owed them that way too on top of you know what happened before <laughs> what the f f <laughs> That's all we needed on this ship. Fart jokes. And that's the downside. There must be some trick to it, maybe? Or could you ride with a mermaid? Or maybe they have some type of tool you could use? Oh, yay! You can use the starfish. He's not gonna sing his way into the sea, is he? Oh, she'd have to go right through the government, which is... Though they have... They have gone through some crazy places. Oh... その名も魚人島系の。なるほど。そいつは危険だ。止まってケイミ。今船ごとって言った?うん。どんな船を使って海底に行くの?もうやだ、they're not going to leave this ship obviously. You're going high, you're going low. They go everywhere in the show. Something so it can handle going underneath the water that far? Bubbles? Bubble Island? It's always nice to see Luffy excited. Oh. I kind of forget about that detail sometimes. About where they land and with the log pose. They haven't really talked about that in a while, too. Hustle muscle. All the muscle will be hustling. Holy hell! There's a lot more going on than you would think here. And all numbers. Wow, I was really expecting it to be, I don't know, from the, the view, it was like one island, but now it's, how are they going to get through this fast? <laughs> Zoro just gives no fox. Wait, why didn't it pop? Okay, this could be extremely dangerous. Uh, that's what she said. <laughs> Why do I feel like these bubbles have some... Like, can you use them? Obviously, you can ride them. Are these like the bubbles in Sonic where you can breathe air in them? You get your breath back by consuming it. That would be kind of fun. Not gonna lie. What? Is it because you've been s sitting on them too long? Or, or is it just random? This is why you don't just jump on the bubbles. Ne never just jump on the bubbles. 
Luffy's one of the only people that can do that and be okay. Oh. So the thing that's emitted from the island would... It's like a natural resource. Oh, something in return? Oh. That's kind of hard to do to not defy people for them. What the fuck? So that raises a question. Are they that? Are these, um, what, what do they call them? World nobles or whatever? Are they actually this, them, maybe not themselves strong, but do they have the authority where if you mess with them ever, like it, it just becomes a really bad situation because the way he is, he didn't act like that the entire time. His tone changed immediately when he talked about that. But even if they kill somebody, they, they have to look the other way and act like they saw nothing. That's not even in... I feel like that's not in Luffy or a lot of those guys' genetic makeup. Like, that's not, that's not how they can... I don't think that's possible for them to just not... Like, if they were seeing somebody in trouble or something, I just don't think they could not act that uh, i don't i don't like this i have a bad just with him saying that i have a bad feeling it's not gonna go no when does it go according to plan it really hasn't through this entire show but that does make me a little bit worried um i was wondering about the coding thing but now it makes sense using this resin using this natural thing uh a couple of my thoughts were maybe like the bubbles had something to do with it too like you could put it like a uh, one of those like you throw the bubble on your head and you can suddenly breathe underwater or use a humongous bubble on the ship. I had so many thoughts on the, like a bubble on the ship or like, I don't know, the, I, but it's using that like material or whatever to to coat the boat on there. It, it, that's so much more simple than I thought it would be to be able to go underneath the water. Just how, like, are they going to put, like, a propeller or something on there so it can go underneath? Like, I, I wonder how they're going to design that for the entire ship uh, to be able to go underneath water. That's uh, that's going to be really interesting. Uh, anyway, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, hit that notification bell. You can also check out these episodes early and uncut over on patreon.com slash ajrich123. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.